One of the oldest and best techniques used by visual effects artists in film and TV shows to create huge and visually stunning worlds and large-scale environments is known as matte painting. In this video, we're gonna know what it is, how it is being used, and a brief history of how it became an essential part of the entertainment industry. What is matte painting? A matte painting is an image created using a digital or traditional painting techniques to create a representation of a scene that would be impossible for filmmakers to deliver in real life or it is not practical to do so. This might be because of the landscape does not exist in the real world, it's not financially possible to travel to a location or to extend the set outside of its filmed parameters. Matte painting is a painted representation of a landscape, set, or distant location that allows filmmakers to create the illusion of a certain environment. Historically, matte painters and film technicians have used various techniques to combine a matte painting image with live-action footage, as it is best depending on the skill levels of the artists and technicians. The effect is seamless and creates realistic and believable environments. In the scenes, the painting part is static and movements are integrated on it. Industries using matte painting. A matte painting can be a mix of digital art, photo blending, deformation, and 3D effects. Digital matte painting are not only used for films, they are recently also used in creating commercials, both print and video, and for backgrounds and skies for video games. You probably have never thought of the possibility of using this technique in video games, but when you consider the fact that video games are getting larger with open world environments and exterior scenes, it kinda makes sense because video games have a limitation in terms of polycount and visual quality that the gaming hardware can handle because, at the end of the day, game developers want the video game to be played smoothly. For example, most of the mountains, buildings, and distant elements for the first-person shooter video games are often matte painted. It is also a handy technique for creating concept art and illustrations. The only barrier is your imagination and your skills, which can be improved through time and effort. Though paint and brushes are rarely used for matte painting in today's films, the technique is still frequently used in film and television with digital tools. The breathtaking landscapes seen in films like The Lord of the Rings, Black Panther, and television series like Game of Thrones are enhanced or wholly created by digital matte painting. While a single matte artist or a small number of matte artists might work on a film in the paint era, dozens of matte artists might work on the latest Hollywood blockbusters. However, digital matte painting is not just limited to big-budget films filled with visual effects. Traditional matte painting Matte painting appeared around the 1800s and consisted back then of the integration of background elements of black painted glass screens once the movie was filmed entirely. The first forms of true matte painting appeared in 1930 to create backdrops such as barracks, castles, and islands for movies like King Kong and Dracula. The most impressive matte painting displays were created in 1960 for Mary Poppins and Planet of the Apes. They are still considered nowadays to be fascinating references in the universe of matte painting. Before becoming digital, this technique was preferred by painters using sketches as reference and pastel or acrylic paint as tools. They painted set pieces on glass screens of various sizes before integrating them into movie backgrounds. This approach was used in many cult movies, such as the original Star Wars and Indiana Jones. By the 1970s, the previously mentioned VFX masters at ILM would use many matte paintings to bring Star Wars to life. Star Wars had a multitude of great artists, like Chris Evans who created many of the iconic Star Wars images, like Darth Vader's Imperial March. ILM was also responsible for creating matte paintings for the legendary finale to Raiders of the Lost Ark. It took three months to paint all the crates and boxes. As we made advancement technologically, matte paintings become about digital painting, and one of the last hand-painted mats used in major motion pictures was in the 1997 film The Titanic. While most motion picture productions have moved to blue and green screens, the techniques used by matte painters are still applied to modern filmmaking. Background plates are still often hand-drawn or painted. They are used as reference material for digital artwork. Modern matte painting Artists switched their tools for digital ones once they started to increase in availability and popularity. The technique was then renamed digital matte painting and an area of software now is commonly used such as Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint for techniques like photo bashing, 
and overpainting on photographs to create 2D paintings. Software such as Maya, Blender, and 3ds Max are typically used for 3D projects and Nuke usually for the compositing process. Computers offer the opportunity to create backgrounds easily as well as to create variations in the atmosphere, weather, and time of the day. Most importantly, digital tools make matte paintings more realistic than ever to the eyes of the audience. Digital technology brought another significant improvement to matte painting with 3D effects. This new possibility has two main benefits, the opportunity to animate 2.5D shots with 3D cameras and the chance to create sophisticated and complex universes such as whole cities, planets, and forests. However, a higher level of scale is required for 3D creation, including texturization, lighting, and the ability to apply backgrounds for photorealistic results. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to say, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.